You know, a lot of brothers here on YouTube have a lot of vitriol for the so-called divested sister. But let me take a moment to get also on the whole divested blackmail. You know, the ones living in countries like Brazil, the Philippines and all this other places where what dollars they do make go a long way and they feel like kings and stuff. More power to you. This ain't no anti so-and-so video or anti this video that it no. This is about the ones who are over there who's supposed to be chilling, but they have all this vitriol about what the black community should be doing. And I'm like, bro, you ran, basically. You ran from everything. But you got the most input and say so, but you don't have feet planted on American soil anymore. And you're running your mouth, acting as if you have all the solutions. Like case in point, the whole thing in Colorado with uh, the police officers, you know, on the point of losing a lot of their immunity towards how they treat citizens. And it's an issue in America. And of course, a lot of these woke Negroes got to have this whole mindset like, what is it going to do to fix the black community? Nothing. Black men are still killing black men at a higher rate than anything. And I'm like, look, it's proximity kills. That one. And then on two, yes. A lot of them are. I'm not going to sit here and say, like, oh, my God, this is such a lie. I don't want to hear the truth. No, bro. It's like this. This is not a band-aid for the issue of what goes on in black communities. Okay? And when you call that out, a lot of them try to attack you. Like you putting this in front of that. It ain't going to fix nothing. And I'm like, bro, what country you live in right now? Okay? Where you in? Brazil? Why all the brown people are poor for the most part? And a lot of crime happens in places like Sao Paulo. But meanwhile, you're talking about American soil. You, oh, it's that's right, because you over there getting your dick wet. That's the problem, okay? Like I said, this ain't about doing that. See, if I had it like that, boy. But stop acting like you are in utopia. You just in some place where it's easier for you because you tucked your tail between your legs and ran. And this is not all. This is for those who are far away but can't keep their mouth shut. You know? So a lot of them have this whole thing where they think they got all the solutions. And I'm like, bro, you don't you don't have the solutions, number one. Number two, it's important that I don't get held accountable or being stereotype typecasted treated a certain way being called the police on because i'm so and so outside of my demographic meaning i'm someplace that a person like me don't frequent so people looking at me funny right this is not a thing that's going to fix the black community it's not but you know people who live elsewhere always want to tell you what good is it going to make? It needs y'all need to make the changes. You need to yes, I know that Einstein, but not everybody in black communities are fucking criminals, and a lot of us do not want to be looked at as criminals. And what can I do personally? This ain't me like, oh, what was me? But personally, it has to be a collective of black people. Okay, it has to be that want change. But like I said, I can't stand a lot of these divested Negroes who throw stones while living in a glass house. That's all I'm saying. Do what you want to do in life, but watch your mouth if you don't have feet planted firmly on American soil. That's how I feel. It's always the ones who date out that run their mouth the hardest. Not 
And once again, I don't mean all people of black descent who date exclusively interracial. I'm talking about if you're going to hear a lot of vitriol towards black men and black women, you're going to hear it from either the divested male or female. You're going to hear it from them. There's some that just do it and they just live their life and they don't treat anybody any different or say I'm with my wife because she's a certain race and I can't stand black women or I can't stand black men. Those who are just there, just do it. Some of them know people are going to look at them funny. So they try to make life as good as possible for their family. But you telling me that police shouldn't be held accountable? That's bullshit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Anyway, let me get back to work. I got a call. Because I'm a fury. I'm out. Peace. On to save some lives, hopefully. Have a good day, y'all.